there is a particular challenge in finding out or finding new ideas what you can do with the um, with the data that is accumulating. So um, why I like the term as an academic myself, but also working in industry is that I think re uh, industry now recognizes that you have to investigate, um, that you have to have an investigative mind to explore the possibilities you can, what you can do with data in your company. So the new program about data science at VU's Executive Academy should help companies to deal with the emerging, ever-increasing amounts of data. Um, and what we want to achieve is that the participants learn how to work with data, how to analyze data, what they can get out of data, and which methods and tools exist to analyze data and gain additional value from it. What we expect in, is that the participants are actually a mix of um, people working with data already on a daily basis, but also decision makers um, who might not have their hands deep in data already, but who want to learn what they could make out of the data available in their company. So basically, um, we want to bring these together um, because we want to have the people who are closer to the operational uh, part and also the people who work on the management level to find out how they could help each other for instance on one on the one hand um, how to make better decisions based on the on that data or how to actually analyze the data is what needs teams so what we believe actually is that data science is something that is usually done in teams and within the course we also want to work in teams and um, have people with different backgrounds work on data related problems There is definitely a high demand on people with data science skills. So I've heard just from a colleague talking about astronomic numbers of um, job um, salary offers you can get if you um, have any experiences um, working with data, big data, and um, doing data analysis um, at scale, uh, which is basically what people in this, um, with this expertise should be able to uh, do. Um, and there is also a high demand of people working with tools um, that are used for data science and some of the tools we are, so we try to teach in our course the standard and most widely used tools for data science. Um, apart from that, also on the management level, I think there is also another very sexy job coming up. Um, so there, I've read uh, several articles um, recently about the new job profile of a chief data officer um, and um, that basically signals that um, data science or data governance have arrived at the highest management level. So a company who does not um, have a proper governance structure for the data and doesn't know what it can make out of, the, of, out of its data uh, will have problems in the future, I think. Another thing we are currently working on is a study on um, the mutual influence of innovation and data protection. So we believe that data protection could, on the one hand, also be an opportunity for the companies to advertise that they um, have more sustainable um, handling of personal data, um, but also um, to look into what are potential obstacles for um, the strict interpretation of the data um, protection regulation for companies who want to innovate. The program should also teach its participants um, what they are allowed to do with data and what are the legal requirements. So one of the main legal regulations which is now on the table and which everybody talks about is the EU General Data Protection Regulation. Um, the, the regulation itself in terms of its legal implications does not differ so much from legislation we had already for protection of personal data, but the implications, especially the fines which um, companies who do not comply are uh, facing, um, have are dramatically changed. That's why now everybody is actually um, really much more aware of um, issues about personal data handling. And um, what we want to teach in the course is um, awareness of all the things which are part of this general data protection regulation, how they affect companies. So what they have to do in order to transparently store um, what they do with personal data, um, 
what they have to do in order to obtain consent to um, um, to be allowed to work with personal data and this has many implications particularly in the context of big data because when people think about big data they think immediately about applications what can i do with my customer data how can i make more targeted more precise recommendations for my customers find out who are potential customers but this all um, potentially involves personal data so you have to be careful to inform your customers what you do with your data according to the general data protection regulation and you have to be careful to keep record of what you do with this data so the general data protection regulation applies to companies uh, to any company with who handles um, personal data um, and in principle every company most companies handle in some form personal data and whenever you process um, personal data electronically then you are exactly in this area of what we will teach in the course on data protection in, uh, within our uh, program. Well, we, we teach them, of course, the main principles of the data protection regulations, um, which is, for instance, um, data minim minim uh, minimality, so that you should keep minimal data about your customers um, and how to assess what you are allowed to store, um, but also um, how you carefully handle such data. So we also want to um, teach um, our participants responsible um, so responsibility when dealing with personal data. So one new challenge uh, in the context of the data protection regulation is, for instance, that um, if you want to um, innovate on your data, if you want to basically um, use all your data by fishing in the pond and finding out what new things you could do with your data, as, long, as soon as this involves personal data, you always would need to ask the customers or the persons involved whether you can do that, whether you can uh, basically um, use their data for a new process you want to do. So basically, um, the, um, the general data protection regulation is very strict about that you have to um, get consent for any new purpose um, of data handling and data processing as a data controller. Um, and this is pa partially actually still a topic of open research, how to best obtain consent without being intrusive towards your customers and so on. So this is actually one of the topics we um, deal with in our research nowadays. Uh, 